Hi everyone, it's Tanya with Riley and Company. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for joining me. And I have got a lot of really fun things to show you today. I've got samples galore. And instead of one project today, hopefully we'll have time for two. So let me get you turned around and we will get started as soon as possible. Oh, there's part of the new release already. I see it, I see it, I see it. I always promise you guys that I'm going to get this fixed and, you know, be a real professional with real equipment and stuff. But nope, just me and my phone. All right, so what you're seeing here is our little guy rolling on the floor laughing. We are calling these our gigglers and they are crazy successful. We have Riley, of course. We have a new giraffe. We have Benny the bovine. And we have Ricky the raccoon. And they all are laying there laughing. Now, one of the demos that I'm going to do today is a card kit with these guys in it. And I'm going to make you, I'm going to show you how to make these come alive. You're going to love it. But first, I'll show you some cards. Abracadabra. No, nope, you're still old. Make a wish, then blow out that bonfire. I created these off of the suggestion of a fan of ours. And they said that we needed a Riley rolling on the floor laughing. That fan got the Riley for free just for suggesting it. So if you ever have any great ideas, just let me know. Email me. This is done with a wobbler. An action wobble. And that is what is going to be our demo for today. This is out of the April Craft Along kit. And look at that, it wobbles. So if you have this kit, you now know how to use these. These are hilarious. I just love them. They just keep going and going and going. And they are perfect for so many of our stamps. We do a lot of humor for those of you that don't know Riley and Company. We do a lot of snarky sayings. About 850 of them so far. We'll get back to this in a minute. I want to show you a couple other things from our new release. And then I'm going to show you a bunch of samples from the Funny Bones line. This is our Mushroom Lane line, of course, and the Mushroom Lane line is a very small town of little mushroom houses. This time we have three brand new ones. The first one we have is this clay pot, because sometimes they don't just live in mushrooms. You know, they get fancy and build themselves clay pot houses, right? And of course, they're made to be done 3D like that. The dies are not ready for these yet, but there will be dies. Okay. Just so you know, but I've fussy cut all of these and it's actually pretty therapeutic. I think this one kind of looks like a bar, but as you can see, they're perfect for layering. So that is our clay house, the short clay pots. Then we have a tall clay pots. Now I'm going to show you something with this. Here's the key to all mushroom lane. Of course, they're red rubber stamps, but the key to this is to stamp once. Take your time coloring, and then to do your 3D layers, copy, copy, copy on your photocopier. So this is what I did. I took a long time to color these three different tall clay pot houses, and then I just photocopied. And that way I could set them aside and do them later as well. This I fussy cut. And the fun thing with Mushroom Lane is you can do a different one every time, just depending on how much you fussy cut out. This one, I even put a little door for the gnome. And of course, you put your crystal lacquer in your glitter. Okay. But I did him in a different color too. And I left off all the side flowers on this one and decided to put the gnome back there and did it completely different. Now you're wondering, what would you do with these? All you have to do is, I don't think I have any of these with them on the back, but you would just glue the back or foam tape them on top of the first stamped image that you colored, right? And then you have a card made out of these. So there's three different ones for the tall clay pots. And then we have 
my second teapot in the series. Is this not gorgeous? And look at the 3D on that. Whoops, bent the little antenna. Now I was gonna show you guys real quick. I think we'll have enough time to do it. So I'm gonna do your first demo for you right now. It's just how easy it is to put these together. So what I've done, like I told you, I took quite a while, and this is the first clay pot in the clay pot series. This is the second one. But this first clay pot, I took lots of time coloring it and shading it and all that good stuff. And then I put it on just my regular printer and did a color copy, several color copies actually. Each one takes three to four different color copies. And then when I was done, I saved the original and set it aside so I could always use it again. And then I cut out the base, of course. And then you just start cutting the layers. So here's all these different layers that I have for this one. So here's the next layer and the next layer and all the windows in that. So I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to put one of these together, even without dies that will cut, that cut it out for you. You can just decide which parts you wanna keep. So on this particular one, I have put foam tape on the back of these already. And it's very staticky here. I'm just taking the tape off the foam, folks. That's all I'm doing. It's very staticky, so they're sticking to me so the easiest way to do this i always edge them with vintage photo too to get rid of the little white lines that you see around the edges when you cut so what i do is i just literally stand up whoops i stand up and i just make sure that i'm right on top of the other one and when i get there i just put it down then of course i do my next layer in the next layer, the next one I do may not have all these different layers. When we do the dies, of course, it helps you determine which layers to cut. But when you cut it yourself, you can make each one completely different. All right. Yep, so we're sticky there. So this one... I did a little different. You have to watch it. They like to grab. But I'm going to come along and just set his that down like that. Set the door down like that. And that sits right on top of it. Then we have, oops, I must have missed the tape. You can always tell when you miss tape because it doesn't stick down like it should. Okay. Then I'm going to have a little window. to pop there and I decided to go ahead and cut yet another layer and you can have as many layers as you want and I did just another layer with the teapot top without the handle and then I did another layer here just to pop that up and I usually just cut these out when I'm watching TV I just sit there and just fussy cut and fussy cut and the kitten usually helps and you know the dogs usually help too so there's that and then I just found a little piece of this grass that I thought that oops I have an extra window I don't need that window and I have just another extra grass that I think I will just tuck right there and it's just one of these that I cut so now you can see see how easy that was to turn this into several layers of course, I would add crystal lacquer to the windows. Stickles to the outside, you have to have stickles. It's, you know, Mushroom Lane Land, you have to have stickles. And when you add stickles, and you do the windows, that's what it looks like. So there's your first demo for you. That is Mushroom Lane. Next, we had a new Funny Bones release. And I have to say, this is probably one of the funniest releases that I always say this. So, but I'll say it again, um, in one of the funniest releases that we've had, but actually they're all funny. For those of you that don't know about the Funny Bones, the Funny Bones is part of Riley and Company. Uh, the, it is a sayings line and it started because the original character in our line was Riley and we needed something for Riley to say. And we're all 
kind of snarky, fun human beings around here. So we decided to come out with the Funny Bones line. Now, that was a few years back and we have, I think this release, we hit the 900s. So we have a lot. If you want something to do some night, grab a beverage of your choice in your iPad or your phone or your laptop and sit and read through the Funny Bones. You will giggle, I promise. So here are some samples done with this release. I do not snore. I just dream that I'm a motorcycle. This is Sick Riley. Here is our Giggler Giraffe on the Dress Up motorcycle. You're saying Dress Up, what is that? I will tell you that in a little bit. Things I have in common with a raccoon. Dark circles around eyes, eats junk, kind of chubby, stays up all night, cute, but might bite. And again, the giggler's just sitting up, but he's laughing, standing up this time. There is the same sentiment, this time with the raccoons. Crafting makes everything better. Most of our sayings are funny, but we do have random times where we're serious. Sometimes, not very often, but sometimes. This is stamping Riley and as you can see it looks different but it's really not she just cut this out this is going to be my brother's birthday card this year if it weren't for me he might have been mom's favorite <laughs> this is with dress up Riley only it's using the cow and the dress up Sophie sets Hello, upside down and I love this it's it's on a action wobble, but the saying says, some mornings it's just best to fill the sink with coffee and stick your head in and suck. Ah. Love this, hilarious. I love those little wobbles. And we will have them on our website. Same thing, but with Coffee Riley. And here is our darling giraffe giggler again. E equals MC squared. Energy equals milk times coffee squared. And that's the kind of algebra I can understand. And I love these little coffees, the little coffee cups. They're perfect for these guys because they're part of the dress up series. I'm pretty sure that my last words are going to be, are you freaking kidding me? Yep, so me. And this time she just took the gigglers and stuck them out windows. And I love this pattern. It just reminds me of curtains behind there, doesn't it? And here's another one. You can put two instead of just one. These gigglers are so much fun and they have been wildly popular. I've got a couple questions as to whether or not we have dyes with those. We do not right now. They have not come in yet. However, they will be here soon. I promise by the next release, we will have the dyes for the gigglers. For today, drink your coffee. Stay positive. Remember, stabbing people is wrong. Are you wearing pants? You just never know. We also have a little ROFL, which is pretty appropriate considering we have gigglers, right? And here's that saying for today. I have had Riley almost 10 years now, I think. And this is the very first time when I had our designer draw this that I've seen him with his mouth open. He has a mouth. Remember when teachers used to say, you won't have a calculator everywhere you go? Well, we should then. Mm-hmm. Coffee, because sarcasm needs to stay hydrated. And I absolutely love how Heidi did this. And she just made a little string of coffee cups. I just love them. Again, out of a dress-up series. There's another one in that line. If you know me, you know that this is usually me running around, one in each hand. Celery is 95% water, 5% fiber, and 100% not a taco. Fabulous saying for a Cinco de Mayo. Just random act of kindness for one of your buddies. And here it is with little Leroy. And he's got his little hat on. All right. And another great one. I told you there was a lot of 
samples in this series today. Roses are red, violets are blue. I want tacos and queso too. All right, this is gonna blow your mind. It blew my mind. Same thing, right? She just colored in this. This is our goo dye, our corner goo dye. I've used it for blood. I've used it for gravy. I've used it for icicles. I have never used it for queso cheese. And now it's queso cheese. I absolutely love it. Raisin cookies. They look like chocolate chip cookies are the main reason I have trust issues. And this is the truth. Have you ever bit into a chocolate chip? Raise your hand if you bit into a chocolate chip cookie and there were raisins and you thought it was chocolate chips, but it wasn't. Ew. And I love how she did this. This is just a dye that she just took chunks out of. This one also very, very creative. A crescent moon. The fact that jellyfish have survived 650 million years despite not having brains gives hope to so many people, right? And these are just little strings. The flow, flow free down there. Same, same funny bone. This time with the dress up underwater sets. Turns our giggler into a mermaid. A mermoose. Mermoose. Adulthood is the straight up worst hood I've ever lived in. <laughs> okay, older, but wiser. This is so cute. I made it look like a beer can on the front. Great card for guys. Girls too, don't get me wrong, because I like a beer every now and then. But cards for guys are a little harder to do, they say. So I did this. And here she did it in a slimline card. Older but wiser. Great card. All right, this is so the truth. Spilling coffee is the adult equivalent to losing a balloon. True story. And for those of you that don't drink coffee, you have no idea. I'm telling you, it is the same. And there's another one. I love this idea of doing this on a slim line like this, putting the grass up here and leaving room for a saying down here, but making it part of the card. This was a really great card. Here's another one that has just gone crazy this time. Make a wish, then blow out that bonfire. <laughs> there you go. In this case, she just did a little ink behind the candles. Okay. Now, I'm not going to say this out loud in case you have young children that are around. But this is one of the funniest ones. And apparently a whole, whole bunch of you, hundreds of you thought so as well. <laughs> now, I included this saying with this card. This is genius. This is just circles. Just circles, you guys. That's all it is. Just circles. In this one has been wildly successful too. Abracadabra. Nope. You're still old. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just sit here and giggle all the time when I have these. Now, those are just some samples with the newest release that we have. We also had a little surprise when it came to our dress up line. What is our dress up line? You're asking? Well, our dress up line are these little guys. So think paper dolls. So Riley, our moose, which is the namesake of our company, has his own clothing and accessories line, but in stamps and only for him and his friends. So we had Riley first in the sets. You get one of each and now they come in clear. No more red rubber for these. The whole dress up line, only the dress up line, not the funny bones or the mushroom lamp, but the dress up line is all clear now. So there is Riley and there are the two moose. They come in two different little stances. And of course they have dyes that match them. Then about a month ago, I've got a mess going on here. Can you see this? About a month ago, we came out with this little guy. Now, it's got the two different stances, but it's also got these two little bitty black things that you can stamp. And what they are, turns him into a raccoon. So it's a fox or 
a raccoon, depending on whether you use these or not. And we have dies for them as well. Now the Dress Up series, we have probably, I'm guessing, about 28 sets. You would think I would know, but I don't count that often. But we have about, about 28 sets. And so I pulled some of them that um, were springtime or summertime related for you. This one we're going to use, we used a lot in the April kits. This is our Dress Up Spring. And see, this is what they look like. So there is the jackets and the hats and little ducks and all, here's these little boots and all kinds of accessories that go with the three dress ups. And of course they have matching dyes as well. This one I have to show you is our camping accessory set. And Riley has his own camper and his own campfire and his own little shirt and vest and his little boots and his little s'mores. Isn't that cute? I love this set. I've had a lot of fun with this set. And of course it has the dice to go with. Our darling moose and our cows also have their own tractor. Now this is the farmer sets and it has the pants and the dress and the shirts, chickens and eggs and tractors. Oh my. So that's what it looks like all dressed up. Oops. I really hope the dogs don't start barking. If they do, I apologize. And this is our latest. This is our safari set. This little guy is going to um, be in a make and take we have coming soon. So when it cuts out with the die, it cuts out the little window here so you can actually put him behind there. It's got a little monkey and a mirror cat and a little snake and a little safari outfit. And Riley also owns a motorcycle, a Harley, of course, right? And that is what was in one of the samples earlier. I do not snore. I pretend I'm, or I dream I'm a motorcycle. He's got his chaps to go with him in the die sets, of course. One little note, if you like the motorcycle set and you get it, never put the chaps on without drawing, whoops, sorry, without drawing a line and coloring in pants underneath. Otherwise it looks a tad risque. And here is a set that I use all the time, or at least pieces, parts of it all the time. This is our dress up birthday accessories. Now there's a clown outfit that fits him, of course, and a hat, but there's also balloons and numbers and sayings and ice cream and a cake and an individual candle. So you can make as many as you want. I use this set all the time. That's the birthday set. And just a couple more to show you. This is his dress up fishing set. How many moose do you know that has a motorcycle and a boat and, you know, camper and all that good stuff? So there he has waders and his little vests and his hat and his little boat and worms. Okay. We also have in the dress up series a little gnome. Can you, can you tell who that is? It's Riley. Really? Underneath there is just Riley. I just cut his antlers off and now it looks like a gnome. You can leave the antlers on and it can be a gnome moose. But it has adorable mushrooms in it. It has grasses from the springtime in it. And when you get a couple of them, the fun ways that you can combine these are just endless. And if you lay them out in front of you, you can pick and choose and just always make the most fun cards. Now, finally we get to our April craft along kit. And this craft along kit has these three cards in it. Make a wish. I've shown you that. This card, which is actually an easel card. Hiya, what's up? And this is also just using the spring dress up kit or spring dress up stamp sets. 
Here is another one. Just the spring dress up. And this is also an easel card. So when he stands up, he's in a puddle of water. Hope you guys can see that. So these three cards are in our April kit. We do not have very many left. Um, this will this will air this weekend, so I, I'm hoping that there's a couple out there for those of you guys that still want them. In one of our kits, this is the Craft Alone kit. In one of the kits, there is a golden ticket. What is a golden ticket? It's a ticket that gives you a free gift certificate at Riley and Company to pay for your kit. So basically somebody out there is going to get their kit free. You have to show us on Facebook. And if you go out on our Facebook fan page, you can see the winner for last month. She was very excited. Now in these kits, I'm going to open it up and we're going to put one of the cards together. We're going to do this card. I need to get these out of my way. Don't forget that I think there's still a couple March Craft Along kits left that we have. Not too many, but they're out there and the cards are just simply adorable. We made them spring, but not Easter, so you could use them all during the spring. So make sure you check those out. So in this kit, when you open it up, you are going to see there's your cover. Here is your instructions. This particular one has two sets of instructions because this was your tall slimline easel card. And then you have the instructions for your other two. You also get sprinkles with it. You get how to connect to us on Facebook. And each one of your cards are put together in kits. Everything is pre-cut and pre-stamped and pre-die cut for you. So it's super easy. And what I mean by that is we'll just tear this kit apart and I will show you how easy it is to put this together. And all of our cards run that way. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to get out our zip dry. You know I love my zip dry. I love, love, love my zip dry. And I am just going to run zip dry along the back edge. I'm going to go through this pretty quickly because I don't have a ton of time left. But I really did want to get two cards for you guys this year, two projects this time. So zip dry lets us do this even though it's glued down, which I love because I like my straight lines. Just going to rub that off. This is zip dry. I'm, I laid it in zip dry, so it's got a little paper. But you can find this on our website. The great thing about zip dry as well is if I decided I did not want the stripes, I wanted the other side, you can pull it right back off. And after about five minutes, it will settle. Or after about a minute, it'll settle. But all you do is just rub the glue off and you change your paper. And it won't ruin your paper that way. I love Zip Dry. I use it religiously all the time. So the next thing we're going to do in this kit is we're just going to glue our green piece down. And it is going to go all the way across our page. Okay. So, so far, so good. Now, the next thing we're going to go ahead and we're going to use this. So, all I'm going to do is, I know I had a pair of scissors, but I've been throwing things around here like mad. So, let me find them real quick. Oh, there they are. So with this, we are just going to, on this line, we're just going to take that out of there. And we're going to take a black pin. Sorry. <laughs> and we are just going to draw lines, just little squigglies and skip and maybe put a couple dots and skip and dots. Just a little bit. It just gives it a little something, okay? And you just go along the edge like that, just random. Don't don't make it, 
try to look a certain way, just make it completely random. We're going to take that and put this up here. Now, because zip dry is like rubber cement, sometimes it gets a little goopy up here and it's okay. You can take it and just use your fingers. If you rub them together, it just comes right off. So now we're gonna just put this right here. And these circles are also pre-cut for you. So we are going to put the uh, yellow one up here. Now, a lot of time, and then I have glue stuck to my hands. Sometimes I like to edge my circles with vintage photo ink and a sponge. And sometimes I don't. So we're going to put that just random right there. Now, see how that's kind of looks similar? I don't like that. I'm going to pull it right back off and just move it over a little bit. There's a little glue right there. And the wonders of zip dry, I take that right off. Okay, then I'm going to scoot this one there. I'm going to try to watch my time. Oh, I have gone past time. Sorry. We're going to put this here. Now, the one thing I am going to show you before I go, we're not going to get into the coloring, unfortunately. The colors for the moose are E33, E35, and E47. Super easy to do. The grasses are also very simple. All I do is take a light green and just go over it like this. In a light green, just like that. And you can also come back in and add more if you wanna make it a little darker. But the one thing that I really wanted to show you on this I guess I could show you how quickly I color. So you're just going to lay those on here randomly with glue. Now, the one thing that I wanted to show you, if you've got the kit, you're going to notice these are the action wobblers. One side sticks to your project, the flat side sticks to your base. You're going to notice that they're a tad big it's okay really it's no big deal because what you're going to do is you're just going to lay it like this and literally trim making sure you don't cut into the wobbler part okay and then we've got that on that side so now we're just going to cut off a little around the bottom they do make little mini wobblers now to attach this i'm going to put this right here and then to attach him to your card, all you do is you pull off the back. Easier said than done when you're in a hurry. Our specials for this time are 20% um, off all the dress ups and 20% off the gigglers. So you guys are going to get a treat at 20% off. So I just lay him on there like that and you can see he moves. I will also do the same thing with this guy. Now, I would definitely color them first. For those of you that have been around for a while, you've seen me color. I'm very super quick at it, but I won't hold you on that right now. I don't wanna go over, but have a fabulous day. Thank you for joining me. And if you want to know how I colored these, um, please let me know and I'd be glad to do a little video for you. I colored the raccoon with C1, C3, and C5 and that's it. Thank you so much and have a great day everyone. Bye.